everyone welcome back to my youtube channel knowledge circle today i'm going to teach you all how to calculate gross salary and net salary where basic salary is given as input in this question i will explain you what are the steps to do this and we will see a java based program to calculate gross salary and net salary and if you're new on my channel please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon for the latest notifications so let's start the video. Before writing the program, we will see how to write the variable description. So what are the variables we require for this program? First of all, for basic salary, to store basic salary, I'm taking a variable BS. The type of the variable I'm taking double because the salary may be in decimal value. What is the purpose of taking uh, BS to store to store basic salary? Next, after basic salary, I'm taking for gross salary. That is GS. This will also be double to store gross salary. Next one, I'm taking NS to store. It is used to store net salary. The next one, we need DA, DNS allowance. It may also be in float value, so that's why let's take it double to store DNS allowance. You can take that. Okay, the next one is HRA. House rent allowance. It should also be double type to store house rent allowance. Okay, and DA, HRA, and then we are taking what? PF, provident fund. So double to store PF amount I am writing here. To store PF amount. Okay, so these are the variables in our program that we will declare to store different kind of values. So let's start the program. Let's see how to write the code. This is the variable description that has to be written before the code. Okay, so let's start the program. First of all, we will import the scanner class of util package then we will write a class name we can write here sal because for the salary I am writing let's declare the main function public static void main then the argument required for main function has to be written then again an opening braces has to be put next step let's make an object of scanner class after making the object of scanner class we will declare the variables so let's declare the variables all the variables if you see the variable description all the variables are of double type so what were the variables? One was for basic salary, next one was for gross salary, next one was for net salary, then it was for DA, then one was for HRA and the last one was for PF. So we have declared 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 variables here. Okay, so it is possible to declare all the variables together if they are of same type. The next step is let ask the user to enter the basic salary. So we will print a message to the user system dot out dot print Ellen. Enter the basic salary. Enter the basic salary. Okay, when the user gives the basic salary, you can store it. So basic salary will be stored in BS. So we will write here SC dot next double next double and we will get that 
and the basic salary will be stored in BS. Now what we need to do, we have to calculate DNS allowance, home rent allowance and PF and then we will calculate gross salary and net salary. So how to calculate? Because in the question, how much uh, DA is given? DA is 30%. It was given there 30% of basic. 30% of basic. So let's calculate DA. DA equal to how much? 30% means it will be 0 0.30 or you can write directly 0 0.3. 0 0.3 of what? 0 0.3 of BS. 0 0.3 of BS will be calculated. That will be stored. HRA. HRA has to be how much? It has to be 12.5%. It was given there 12.5% of basic. Okay. So I am writing here for 12.5%. We will write here 0 0.125. 0 0.125. And we will multiply it by BS. Okay. This is how we calculate. And the last one, the third one, PF. PF equal to 10%. So write here only 0.1. Okay. How much? 0.1. And multiplied by basic salary. So in this way, we have calculated DNS allowance, home rate allowance and provided fund amount. These three have, has been, have been calculated by us. It's time to calculate gross salary and net salary. Calculate gross salary. Gross salary will be equal to the basic salary plus the DEA amount and the HRA amount. When we can uh, add it all, gross salary will be calculated. To calculate net salary, what you have to do? You have to subtract gross salary. You have to subtract PF amount from the gross salary and you will get the net salary. So we have done this. So let's print it. What we can do, we can write here system.out.println. Okay, so let's calculate. First of all, we will display the basic salary. Your basic salary is how much? And we can write here BS. Okay, and if you want to display a space and you want to display here the rupees symbol, it is possible. You can. Then next is let's display the gross salary system dot out dot print ln your gross salary is and that is what gs and here you can write rs if you wish give a space here then write rs and the last one, net salary, system dot, out dot, print, ln, your net salary is how much? That is NS, where we store that. Then give a space and put RS symbol there. You can write like this. So in this way, we have calculated net salary and gross salary once again i want to tell you all that see uh, in the question da and hra percent will be given it will be given in the question itself what you need to do you have to calculate da and hra and then you have to add up da hra and basic then you will get gross salary and from the gross salary if you subtract the amount of pf then you will get net salary so this is the program to calculate gross salary and net salary. If you like this video, then share and subscribe. Thank you everyone. Like, share and subscribe. And press the bell icon for the latest notification.